Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is third grade, module one, lesson 12. And in this lesson, students are gonna be interpreting the quotient as a number of groups or as the number of objects in each group. And the idea is we're gonna be sticking with the number two. So basically what we're talking about is, let's say we have 18 divided by two equals nine. All right, so that 18 is the total. And now that two could represent the number of groups. So now we have two groups and the nine would then be the size of each group. Okay, pretty straightforward. However, we could use that same 18 divided by two equals nine. 18 is still the total, but now two could represent the size of each group, and therefore the nine would be the number of groups if each group was two. So there's two different ways we can think of that dividing by two, as the number of groups or as the size of each group and ignore that bell. All right, so anyway, let's get started. All right, so here we've got 10 people are waiting in line for the roller coaster. Two people can sit in each car circle to find the total number of cars. So the idea is here's two people, so that's one car. Here's two people, that's another car. Here's two people, that's a third car. Here's two people, so that's a fourth car. And finally, here's two people, so that's a fifth car. So 10 divided by two is five. There are five cars needed. So in this case, 10 divided by two equals five. Parents and teachers, I want you to know that 10 stands for the total. Two stands for the size of each group. So the size of each group. And then in this case, the five stands for the number of groups. So here it says, Mr. Ramirez divides 12 frogs equally into six groups for students to study. And they've drawn the tape diagram for us. This is really kind of cool. It says, draw frogs to find the number in each group. So 12 frogs in each, uh, divided up equally into six equal sized groups. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw, but I'm gonna be cheesy, and I'm gonna say, there's a frog. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've passed them out, one frog into each of the six groups, and I have more frogs, so that's seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Ah, so there we go. We are now done. We've got the answer of there are two frogs in each group. All right, so let's fill in the rest of this tape diagram. So this is the 12 because that's the total that's right here they're saying well the total is 12 each group is going to get 2 so over here we can write in 6 times 2 is equal to 12 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2 and there are 2 frogs in each group so if again I could do 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2 and in this case, we've got 12 is the total. Now here, this six is the number of groups. It's the number of, well, you know what? I wanna do that in blue. It's the number of groups. And then in green, I wanna say it's the size of each group. And so we've got 12 is the total. There are six groups, and each group is two. All right, we're getting close to the end here. Now it says an earthworm tunnels two centimeters into the ground each day. The earthworm tunnels at about the same pace every day. How many days will it take for the earthworm to tunnel 14 centimeters? So basically we're saying, well, here's one day, and that's two centimeters. So for whatever reason, I'm gonna use stars. So there's, a, there's two centimeters. Here's another day, so that's another two centimeters. Here's another day, 
and that's another two centimeters. So let's just keep going. And how many of these days am I going to need in order to finally reach 14 centimeters? Well, let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I've got seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ah, look at that. So there's our 14 centimeters total. And it took us, and each day is two centimeters, and it took us seven, because I can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it took us seven days. What would that look like as a division sentence? 14 divided by two is equal to seven. And the last problem for this video, it says Sebastian and Tayshawn go to the movies. The tickets cost $16 in total. And then it says the boys share the cost equally. How much does Tishon pay? Which is, of course, how much does Sebastian pay as well, right? So you've got two boys. So I'm going to draw a tape diagram cut up into two because this stands for Sebastian and this stands for Tayshawn. And I can see that we have $16 total. So now we don't want to figure out how much does each kid pay. So I'm going to, let's use green and let's do, okay, that dot stands for a dollar. So I'm going to divide up my 16 equally amongst the boys and I'm going to alternate. So Sebastian gets a dollar or pays a dollar, Tayshawn pays a dollar. So that's one, two, so that's one, two, and I'm going to keep going, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I've divided up the dollars equally. I just kept going one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. And I can see that each kid is going to pay $8. So what is that gonna look like as a division sentence? That's gonna be 16 divided by two is equal to eight. And that wraps up third grade, module one, lesson 12. We are dividing and we're division, we're interpreting that divide by two as the number of groups or as the size of each group.